NFTs are taking over on the internet. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create your very own NFT and sell it for possibly thousands of dollars. Now, you've probably heard some of your favorite content creators or celebrities talking about NFTs, and it's kind of the new wave right now to easily explain NFTs. Think of it like modern art, except it's on the internet and it can be purchased like a Pokemon card. Just like Pokemon cards, there's different rarities of different NFTs. Some are one of a kind and that's what makes them so rare. Now today's video I'm not going to be going into a deep dive on NFTs and why they could possibly be the future of trading. However, I will be showing you guys how to create your very own NFTs and make a ton of money off it, especially because we are currently in the early adoption stage of NFTs, meaning that you guys are a part of the first 10% of people learning about NFTs and if you can somehow get a footing in this market early on, you could potentially potentially make thousands or millions of dollars. Who knows how crazy NFTs are going to go in the future. I really do think NFTs are the new wave and there's going to be a lot of money to be made in the next couple of years. Before we do get into the tutorial, I have to ask you guys, please do leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel as it helps me out a ton. I constantly post tutorial videos and I know you guys will like the channel. I'm also trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. That's the end goal. So if you guys could subscribe, it would be so helpful helpful to me hitting that 100k subscriber plaque. Anyways, let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go onto your phone and go to the app store and find an app called Rainbow Erythium Wallet. And apologies to everyone. I swear I have dyslexia when it comes to this word. I always say Erythium, even though I know people say it's Ethereum. I just have dyslexia when I say that word. Don't know why, but you guys will know what I'm talking about. So once you get to this app, you just want to open it up and without doing anything, it's going to make you an account. Now, once once your account is made, what you want to do is put some Ethereum into your account. I would recommend about $20 and you can do this by using Apple Pay. You can put more than $20 into your account, but honestly, your first NFT to upload will only cost you about $10 to $15. So I wouldn't really go overboard, especially if you're just testing the waters. The next thing you want to do is head over to your PC. Now, once you're on your PC, you want to have your NFT made. If you already have it made, fantastic. If you don't, you can use software like After Effects or Photoshop to create your amazing artworks. Obviously, this isn't a video on how to actually create the NFT itself. It's how to create it and upload it. But an NFT can essentially be anything. And that means audio, video, moving images, stable images. The ideas are endless. You can literally create anything and the greatest thing is nothing is copyrighted unless you strictly rip it straight from the internet what I mean by this is you can take a picture of Spongebob what's which is let's say copyrighted but then add some additions to it and bam that's your very own NFT so just make sure your NFT is unique and you created it yourself and once you do that you want to head over to this website called Rarible so once you're on this website you can actually look at all the different things that are being sold as NFT and it's pretty interesting you can get some great ideas and you'll notice something unique about all these different artists and art pieces is how like wacky and creative they are this isn't like modern art as you guys can see there's stuff like spongebob there's a lot of cartoony things and just a lot of abstract moving art like i was saying before nfts don't necessarily just have to be a still image a lot of these nfts that are selling for high prices are moving images like this car one right Right here so if you are very artistically skilled and have very good computer skills you can make these moving images and they sell for a lot more than just still images and they obviously look a lot cooler but yeah i definitely recommend before you sell anything or create any of your art to look at some of these examples to get some ideas on what you want your art pieces to be anyways to get back on track once you're on this website you want to go to connect wallet at the top right here and there's going to be four options if you download the rainbow app that I recommended in the beginning of this video the option that you want to click is wallet connect obviously if you're using different apps you might have to use one of the other choices but if you're following a tutorial along make sure you click wallet connect and then it's going to ask you to scan a QR code so all you want to do is go back to your rainbow app and then in the top right you're going to see this blue button that looks like a QR code you just want to click that it's going to ask you for access to your camera 
you say okay and then you just want to scan that QR code with the camera and it's going to say Rarible wants to connect to your wallet and bam once it's connected this screen is going to pop up on your PC it's going to be the terms of service for Rarible you have to be 13 years or older and then accept the terms of service and then proceed so bam as you guys can see this is my account right here and it's connected to the Rarible account now you can actually start to create an NFT so you just want to hit this create button in the top right and it's going to ask you to do single or multiple and the difference between these two is, is single is one of a kind that means there's only going to be one of these on the market and it makes it more rare if you do multiple multiple of your nfts can be sold but that means it's less rare so it's like less desirable that's the easiest way i can explain that so for the sake of today's video we're just going to do a single one a super rare nft and like i was saying earlier in the video i spent like 10 minutes before this video creating my very own nft now i am not an artist by any means but i did get some ideas by looking at the rareable site and i realized how many like cartoon spin-off just wacky spin-offs are selling and for high amount of prices so this was my end goal with the nft that i decided to do so i have this squidward image that i edited in photoshop and it is my art piece called hoodward and i know what you're thinking how is this going to sell on this site well you would be surprised the weirdest things i've seen selling for such high prices on rarible that's why you guys need to get in on this nft stuff it's absolutely crazy to think that something stupid like this could possibly sell for a massive stack of cash so once you have your nft uploaded like i said it can be a video it can be audio it can be a moving image Whatever you have, there's going to be more options towards the bottom. One saying put on sale. If you want to hit put on sale, this is how you can actually sell the NFT. If you tick this off, it will just put it into your very own wallet. The easiest way I can explain this is say you have a baseball in your closet and you want to sell the baseball on eBay. Well, let's say you don't want to sell it, then it just stays in your closet. So I do want to sell this. That's why I'm going to hit put on sale and then there's instant sale price and basically what this means is if you have it ticked you can set the instant price to being $50 and that means the first person to pay $50 instantly gets this NFT and sorry I shouldn't say $50 I actually mean 50 erythium personally I wouldn't recommend putting an instant sale price on any of your NFTs because you can have people bid for way more than you'd think that it would go for if you set it at an instant sale price and let's say you do 20 people could have possibly bid that for like $100 I don't know that's just my opinion it's just all up to you guys when you want to sell your nfts the next option is unlock once purchased and what this feature does is you can link a digital key or a download link after they purchase your nft and it's kind of like a bonus some cool things i've seen people do is upload a even higher definition file or they might do like a tutorial video like a video of them live creating that nft and only the owner of the nft gets to see it. i don't know there's cool things you can do with this i'm not going to play around with it however if you guys want to try stuff out and give people an added bonus when they purchase your nft all to you the next thing is choosing a collection and we are just going to choose the rareable collection i don't really feel like creating a whole new one and it's kind of complicated with the collections and how they work but basically a collection is like a gallery of like-minded things. Think of it like a playlist on YouTube. For example, on my channel, I have a TikTok tutorial playlist where I just have a bunch of videos revolved around TikTok tutorials. Think of it like that. A collection is the same thing. NFTs that align with the same theme so the next thing you want to do is create a name for your nft try and be as creative as possible when thinking of this name and be super descriptive if you have a an nft of let's say a tomato don't just title it tomato try and be super descriptive as possible do juicy big red tomato ready to be eaten something really creative that stands out for example mine is hoodward smoking a doobie on the street obviously this is more of a joke just to show you you guys in the tutorial but when i mean be descriptive please do be as descriptive as possible because it's going to help in selling your nft then in the description this is optional you can go in even more depth on this nft you can talk about things like what's in the nft how you created the nft and what they can additionally get after purchasing the nft like i was talking about before how you can give like higher definition stuff you can add that in the description letting them know you can also leave like your artist's 
social media pages so like you can leave your twitter or instagram pages in the description like oh this art was created by blah 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 so the description isn't as important however you can add really whatever you would like the next thing is the royalties and to explain this this is super super cool and one of the main reasons i really think nfts are such a dope thing to sell is that you can actually get royalties off every single time your nft is purchased and basically what this means is when someone sells your nft that they bought off you you can take a 10 percent royalty from that person so that means you can just consistently make money off your artwork even after it's been sold the reason this is so cool is because you can't do this with modern art once you sell an art piece in the real world you just can't claim royalties that'd be impossible but with nfts you actually can now they suggest anywhere from 10 percent to 30 percent on the royalties we're gonna do right in the middle and we're gonna do 20 percent that's where i feel like is the best royalty fee and then for the size what i like to put in the properties is the exact pixel size of the image that you uploaded or the video that you uploaded now for example my image is 1200 by 1200 so i'm just going to do size and put in bracket pixels and do 1200 x 1200 and that just gives the buyer even more information on how big this image is and what to expect when they purchase it and once you have all these things done you can actually actually create your item and it's going to take a little bit to approve because like I said earlier it does take some erythium to actually upload one of these nfts it isn't free now I currently don't have any erythium in my account however if I did this image would go through and as you guys can see it would cost me $14.83 Canadian to upload this nft to rareable so it's definitely not cheap it's not expensive either I think $14 Canadian is probably around $10 American. So it is a tiny gamble. You're gambling $10 to possibly make like $1,000 in the future. You never know. So I'd say try it out, play around. Obviously, I'm not going to upload this hood word NFT to the internet unless I get like requests to do so just because I don't think I'm going to be making any money back off it. However, if I ever did create a really cool art piece, I would 100% pay that $10 to get it up on the internet knowing that it could possibly make a thousand dollars plus so guys if you do have any additional questions please let me know in the comment section i'd love to answer them i hope this video was super concise and right to the point but also a thoroughly explaining everything to you guys and if you do have questions let me know anyways i hope you have a great rest of your day peace see you guys later